My first question is, uh, is the tree you're named after Jalen Rose? Yes, it is. Yeah. How is My well, dad was a big Michigan fan back in the day, uh, like when they were really good, so that's where. A little Fab Five yeah. situation. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did! High in the air to right center field by Jalen Davis, and he's loving Worcester now. Wow, what a home run. Jalen Davis, Cooper Boardman, that is J-A-Y-L-I-N, not Jalen Rose. Uh, he's with us. and. Uh, you know, the first place I want to start, and we could talk about all five tools, but I want to talk about the power, because you talk to everybody, and you know, you're talking 400, 450, at one point, 470 foot home run. Has this always been part of your game? Um, yeah, it's just kind of always been, been there. Like, even in high school, like, I was a buck, probably a buck 60, and the same thing. So, I don't know, I just always shown up. And then to the opposite field too. That's pretty rare. Yeah, like most of my most of my home runs have been like to center or right field. For me, it helps me just like stay stay in sync and helps me not to pull off the ball. So I try to basically actually Pete Fotzer, which is the hitting coach of the big leagues now. Um, when I work with him with the Twins, he's like, hey, just try to hit everything over the batter's eye. So that's the mindset I had that year, and it, I took off that year, and I just kept it every since. Jalen Davis now puts a charge into one to deep left field, way back to the wall and gone. 470 feet, the estimated distance for the Davis home run. I'd say he got all of it. <laughs> when you hit a ball like that, do you know that it's the furthest ball you've ever hit? Yeah, that one I did for sure. As soon as I made contact with it, yeah, I definitely knew it was. So your swing, like it's been through a few different iterations, right? Like you used to have a little bit of the waggle, a little Gary Sheffield action kind of thing. Yeah. And now uh, it still has some motion to it, but it's a little bit different. Can you kind of talk me through the evolution of your swing in the last few years? Yeah, the thing for me has always been like being consistent. So um, I kind of struggle with that a little bit. I'll have like my, my streaks where I'll go hot and then go cold and then we just talked about like it started in SAC this year with the hitting coaches there. It was just like, hey, trying to simplify it, slow it down a little bit and find something that works. And then when I got over here, had some time off and then talking with Getty and um, Mont, Mont about it. And it was just like, I don't have to do as much as I think I have to do. Kind of just slow everything down. I mean, and it started off rough at first, like I struggled a little bit. But once I got going, it just clicked and um, noticed that I don't have to do too much. I had way more time than I've ever had. It's been, it's been fun. When you say you've had more time than you've ever had, what yeah, do you mean? I'm seeing the ball so much longer now. Like my walks have went up like and stuff like that. So I'm laying off pitches that I know I can't do anything with. So it's been, been a process, but it's finally clicked. I would imagine right now feels probably like the first time you've had consistency and just like getting at bats in the same place consistently oh, yeah. in a long time. Yeah. How does that feel for you? It feels great. I mean, last year with me being hurt most of the year and then going back and then I got called up and then got hurt again. And it's just like, it's just a whirlwind. And then this year started off, I was like, all right, like I'm back at it and then get DFA'd. Sat around the house for seven days and then I get called up, called by, I mean, claimed by Boston and then like get here, sent back down and then like for like a week or two and then DF8 again. So it's kind of like, yeah, I was like, oh gosh, all right, I just want to play this. So. <laughs> all right, let's watch one of these home runs. Let's stop for a quick sec. So this is Toledo, Jalen Davis. It'll end in a home run, but uh, it's all five pitches. So you can take this. Okay. Just I want to like walk us through what you're thinking as we're going along here. Here's Jalen Davis, who takes a pitch. Okay, down. first pitch I thought was maybe a strike, but once I saw that he wasn't giving it down there, I was like, all right, I know I can lay off of that. I don't remember what was next. Let's see. Hills one up. Went back in the same location, same thing. So now two zero. Yeah. Base? Um, I think I did. I thought he was going to throw a fastball right here, but I don't know if he did or not. I haven't gotten many 2-0 fastballs. Oh, he did, yeah, and I was a little late. So, kind of second-guessed myself yeah, here a little like, bit. Yeah, you missed. 2-1, I think he goes breaking ball up. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking fastball here? Yeah, uh, I'm thinking breaking ball because I haven't seen one yet. 2-1, breaking ball Yeah. High. Definitely saw one. it. Drive yeah, yeah. three one. I was I was comfortable. I was like, all right, he's going to try to. I don't think he was going to go back away. I thought he was going to try to come in. I didn't even think he. Yeah, he went back away. Oh no, leaked field. back over. Yeah, back catcher set up away, leaked back over. So, yeah. Little mistake. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 
What's a swig like that feel like? Um, it felt good. That one, I didn't think I got all of that one. I didn't think I got enough, but then I saw a kill, which is one of my friends, the twins. He turned his head, and I was like, oh, well, maybe I got it. So, it's 411 feet that he didn't think he got. So, we'll go with that. Uh, off the field, your work with Players Alliance, and we've talked about this here, but uh, obviously no small thing. What What is that work and that time that you and Kristen and all these guys have put in mean to you? Um, it's been big. Like, I've never been a part of anything like that, and having all the guys that I, I've looked up to, like, through my career, like, reach out to us and try to start something like that, it's been really special. And, um, like, like we said in the video, like, actually getting to see kids faces like when we do like the camps we did a camp um when we had the player alliance like gathering in arizona we did a camp for kids and stuff like that just being out there with all the kids and seeing them get equipment and stuff and seeing their faces light up it's just i mean it's, it's fun it's fun watching like like christian said in the video too like we know baseball equipment now is expensive like most kids veer away from that because their parents can't afford it so like just actually seeing kids get their first glove and first bat and them telling us that that's their first glove that they've actually had that was new. So I mean, it's, it's cool to see. To be an African-American baseball player in a sport that doesn't have enough representation, what is that like for you to be the guy that's giving that glove, but also to be the guy on this field that kids can look down and see? Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Like, I mean, you don't realize it until like, you actually see kids come up to, hey, you're my favorite player. And I'm like, really? Like, oh. So I like, guess, I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, um, I've watched a lot of guys growing up um, playing, like Jack, even watching Jackie when he was at South Carolina. Like, Jackie was one of my, my idols. Like, he was killing it in college baseball and, and, and at South Carolina at that. So it was like, just seeing that and for me being that guy to somebody else is, is pretty cool. Uh, you know, when you kind of look over, and obviously it's been a heck of a few years, but when you kind of look back and from coming to the West Coast, the East Coast, and all of this, how do you sum up that guy versus the guy that's standing right here right now? Um, I'm a lot more relaxed and uh, just play the game and just take what the game gives me and um, know that like if I get out and miss a pitch and a bat before that, I can't take that into my next at bat. And I feel like being able to flip the switch like and like flip the turn the page has been like the biggest thing for me. So um, I feel like I'm a totally different player mindset wise and that was the biggest thing. Sounds good to me. Jalen Davis, much appreciated. No problem. Thank you.